Earth has gone through five mass extinction events, the most known being the one that wiped the dinosaurs out of existence. The most likely cause of this event was a massive asteroid impacting the planet. Could we survive if this asteroid were to strike today? For starters, could we avoid impact with a massive asteroid altogether? Its size could be a challenge, but theoretically, we could. We would have to detect it well ahead of time though. In the last decades, we have slowly mapped out much of all near-Earth objects. NASA estimates that 90% of them have been found, and thankfully none of them seem to pose a serious threat to our planet. That doesn't mean we are safe however, there is a great likelihood of an impactor in the near future. And depending on how much time we have to prepare, we may be in trouble. If we have decades, then we have many options. For example, we could send up a spacecraft or even multiple to orbit the space rock. The craft could gently tug and pull on the asteroid, bringing it to a safer orbit. You don't need to understand the physics behind it, just trust that it works. Another very interesting idea proposed is to send many small crafts with lasers to hit a specific point of the asteroid, which, due to heating up, would eject a plume, pushing the rock in the opposite direction, once again diverting it away from us. Additionally, depending on size, and if we really want to be crazy here, we could detonate a nuclear weapon on the surface of the asteroid, completely breaking it apart. The one problem with this method is it could prove unreliable due to the uncertainty in which the asteroid breaks up. It could also reassemble due to gravity, but this is not actually a problem as its orbit would have probably changed in the process anyway. Most likely, the asteroid will be discovered late and we won't have a lot of time to act, in which case our only option could be to throw a spacecraft right into it to deflect it. NASA had done just that in 2022 by altering the non-threatening orbit of Dimorphos by 32 minutes in a mission named DART. It was considered a huge success. Missions like DART require a fundamental understanding of orbits, something that can be learned with ease using this video sponsor, Brilliant. Brilliant is the best when it comes to learning interactively. All of their courses are designed to be intuitive and fun, which along with their fantastic visuals make learning so much easier. There is a reason why I focus so much on the visuals in my videos. Brilliant also knows that it makes complex topics that much easier to grasp. It does not matter if you are just starting out or if you already have a deeper understanding of some topic. Brilliant's content is tailored to the user, allowing you to learn at your own pace from the basics all the way to the advanced topics. Their course on gravitational physics is perfect if you want to know more about orbits and space travel in general. It helped me a lot when it came to understanding how missions like DART are possible. You can try Brilliant for free for 30 days and the first 200 people to sign up through brilliant.org slash worldsinmotion or by clicking on the link in the description will get a 20% discount on their yearly premium subscription. Thank you Brilliant for sponsoring this video. Now it is time, with less than a year there is nothing we can do. The Cretaceous Paleogene extinction event has just begun, but today. What happens now? At the side of the news and projected area, people would begin fleeting. This will prove ineffective as we will see in a moment, but that won't stop people from booking out all airlines and mass aggregating at airports. As the asteroid would enter the Earth's atmosphere, it would begin heating up, reaching a temperature of up to 2000 degrees Celsius. Chunks would break off, creating explosions and shockwaves in the process. Similarly to how the Cherubings meteor broke up and smashed thousands of windows in. And just like the Russian meteor, which exploded on its way down, our meteor would also cause great damages and would injure many under its path. Until finally, it impacts, releasing the energy of a billion atomic bombs. A massive blast wave strong enough to kill anyone within a thousand kilometers of the impact is generated. Your eardrums would be damaged another 1000 kilometers beyond and glass breaks yet another 2000 kilometers on top of this. You are not safe if you are outside of this range either. 
as the impact also generated a 1.5 km tall tsunami and sent up a large number of rocks into space that fall back upon the planet, each one massive enough to destroy entire cities or even countries. Which is why fleeing from the initial impact point most likely doesn't change much for you. Thermal radiation from these impacts would also cause massive wildfires all around the globe. By this point, a great percentage of life on Earth have already perished, but the worst of it is still yet to come. For anyone lucky or unlucky enough to have survived, we'll have the pleasure of seeing the sun for the last time as soot and dust kicked up will cover the Earth, stopping all photosynthesis and lowering the temperature. The main impact would also send an earthquake with a magnitude of 11 on the Richter scale through the entire planet, destroying infrastructure in every single country in the world. It is possible that some isolated groups could survive in different parts of the globe, but their chances of long-term survival are small. Being unable to grow crops and find drinkable water makes sustaining life over generations extremely difficult. Otherwise, your best chances would be to find underground bunkers, that is if they are built by them and actually have free space for you and your loved ones. If so, and the bunker manages to survive as well, it is only a matter of time until rations will run out. So as you can see, such an impact would not be a fun time. Thankfully, we don't have to worry about such, as asteroids this large are extremely rare, with one impacting Earth every 100 million years. The space rocks that we have to worry about are the ones like the aforementioned Chayabinsk meteor, which injured 1500 people. These asteroids are far more frequent, which is why NASA has conducted its redirection test and why more and more emphasis is put on avoiding these events in the future. The airbursts from these meteors can cause billions of dollars of damage, and their impact can flatten entire cities, killing millions. Such an asteroid is the one going by the name of Apophis, detected in 2004. For four days after discovery, it warranted a level 4 on the Torino scale, which assesses the threat of near-Earth objects. This was the highest rating ever assigned on the scale. Currently, there is nothing on it with a rating higher than 0, and since then we have learned that it won't collide with us. But it will come close in 2029 and will be visible even with the naked eye from rural areas. But who knows what other undiscovered objects lie out there, with a similar or even closer paths. Let's hope that we will be able to detect them in time. And again, thank you to Brilliant for sponsoring this video. Make sure to check them out with the link in the description. And thank you for watching.